good morning I bid to everyone. I hope that everyone is ready for today's lesson. For today's topic, we will continue chapter 3, page 44. There are three learning standards in this topic. Number one is reading 3.1.6. Recognize with support typical features at word, sentence and text. Number two is listening 1.1.2. Understand independently specific information and details in extended text on a wide range of familiar topics. And the last one is speaking 2.1.4. Explain and justify your own point of view. Okay, let's turn to page 44. Discuss with your friends. Do you ever spend more money shopping than you intend to? If so, why do you think that happens? And also, do you think that retailers influence how much you spend while shopping? And how? On page 44, the same page, you are given an article of beware retailers are tricking you into spending more money read the text quickly without paying attention to the missing sentences what is the purpose of the text what do you think is it a to advise people about how to make the most of their shopping trips or b to inform people about the best places to shop c to advise people that they should be more careful when they are shopping and D to warn people of the dangers that are involved when shopping what do you think okay everyone so have you got the answer the answer is C to advise people that they should be more careful when they are shopping you are given an article and what you need to do is to read that article and answer the question on the next page. We finished reading the article. So now let's turn to page 45. Let's answer the question in section C and section D. For section C, you are required to read the text again. Complete the gaps 1 to 6 with the sentences A to G below. There is one extra sentence which you do not need to use. So, refer to the article again and complete the gaps 1 until 6 with the sentences A to G below. For example, number 1. Have you ever wandered into a shop with a list of a few things only to come out with twice as much stuff? There's a reason for this. What do you think the answer is? Yes, the answer is D. Retailers have been using different techniques to increase their sales for years. What about number 2? What do you think the answer is? So, the answer for number 2 is B. The way that products are displayed also plays a very important role. Okay, let's look at section D. Look at the highlighted words in the text and try to guess what they mean. Then match them with the meanings 1 to 8 below. For example, number 1. Difficult to understand. What do you think? Yes, the answer is complicated. What about number 2? A basket on wheels. Yes, the answer is trolley. Next, please do vocabulary exercises on page 46 and discuss the answers with your teacher. We have finished reading, we have finished vocabulary, so now let's do speaking activity. Talk in pairs, compare the two jobs below in the pictures discussing the similarities and differences between them talk about the ideas given using the words or phrases in the box so you need to compare between these two jobs and find the similarities and differences between them you can use 
the phrases or words in the box given in page 47. We are about to finish today's session. Now, let's do listening activity. You need to complete the Google form in your Google Classroom during your tutorial class. That's all for today. Please complete all your homework in the Google Classroom and discuss the answers with your teacher. Thank you everyone.